There is a scale of least count 0.2 cm I had drawn. There are some arrangements I had made. This is a circle of radius 14 cm which is fitted with a rotating protector. There is some theory I had written. As we know, the angle in radiance is length of arc divided by its radius and here radius is equal to 14 centimeter so theta is equal to l divided by 14 the angle in degrees is middle with the help of protector now as we know 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so the relation is true if the ratio of degree to radians comes out to be 57.2 approximately we have to show this now this is a scale fitted with a thread and we have to measure the ang angle through that line so we fix pins in the arc of the circle like that let's first try to prove the relation for 90 degree so we have to fix pins up to the arc subtended by 90 degrees here I had fixed all the pins for 90 degree arc the angle is 90 degree there is a black mark on the thread I had made we take it in the starting of the arc i had placed a small spherical wall on the thread which is initially at zero now we stretch the stray thread the black point then comes to the end of the arc the final position of the small ball gives the length of the arc. There is the point. Now we see that the spherical ball is at 21.9 cm. So length of arc is 21.9 We now make some calculations. As we measure angle is 90 degree. Now length of arc we have measured to be 21.9 cm so theta is equal to length of arc divided by radius which is equal to 21 by 9 upon 14 which comes approximately about 1.56 now we have calculate a ratio of degree to radians which is 90 divided by 1.56 which comes approximately equal to 57.27 I was taken out all the points from the arc of the circle now I wrap the thread let's now try to so the relation between degree and radians for 50 degree so we measure 50 degree with the help of protector now we join the center of the circle to the arc of 
फिफ्टी डिग्री दिस एंगल इज अ फिफ्टी डिग्रीज नाउ टू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ द आर्क वी फिक्स पिन्स इन द आर्क लाइक दैट had now fixed all the pins the angle is 50 degree so we have to measure now the length of the arc subtended by 50 degree angle so we stretch the thread to measure the length of the arc we put the spherical wall thread at zero and the black mark at the starting point of the arc then we the spherical wall is at zero spherical wall is at zero then we stretch the thread now then we see the final reading of the spherical ball this comes out to be approximately 12.2 cm now we have to do some calculations as we measured angle in degree is 50 degree and length of arc is comes out to be approximately 12.2 cm so theta in radian equal to length of arc upon radius is 12.2 upon 14 which is approximately comes to 0.87 now the ratio to degree to radian measure is 50 by 0.87 which approximately comes to 57.37 so through this model we can measure the length of arc subtended by any degree of angles and so the relation between degree and radian measures this data for 90 degree and 50 degree shows that the approximate ratio of degree to radian measure comes out to be 57.3 approximately so this shows that the relation between degree and radian measure that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree